of the earth, all you creatures of the sea. Lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, O oh, the Lord of the earth, master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Break in the song at the deeds of the Lord. The wonders God has done in every age. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. Today's Mass is being offered for the living intentions of Eric Trinidad, uh, the living intentions of Anthony Hernandez, Repose of the soul of Libby Ringo. Also, just getting ready to start the Mother's Day Novena. So, we've got the intentions out. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we first ask for God's forgiveness. Lord, you came to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to reconcile sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, the Lord God heavenly King. God Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, constantly accomplishing the Paschal mystery within us that those you have pleased to make do in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joy of life eternal. 
of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord. And all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and persevere them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith. The cornerstone that the builders rejected has become a cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him 
who called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. And Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. I always bring a spare mic, <laughs> but so far I've been doing well. You know, this production has really kind of grown into a really special production. I, I really am impressed. But the one thing, if I might, if you could just add one little thing that I'm asking for is a laugh track. <laughs> you know, I kind of miss <laughs> the laughs. You know, you say something and you make sure that they're awake and they're laughing. So maybe let's see what we could do by next week about laugh tracks. Well, we have special readings today. They're all special. One from the Acts of the Apostles. One from the first letter of Peter. And one from John. Now, the Acts of the Apostles was written roughly about the same time as the first letter of Peter. It was possibly a little bit before the destruction of the temple in, in the year 70. And they were both kind of concerned about the same thing, keeping Christ's mission alive. So in the Acts, we see uh, the apostles had their hands full. They were overwhelmed by the number of people and how successful they were at bringing people to the Lord 
And their numbers were growing greatly. And they, here they are, their 12 apostles, trying to feed the people spiritually and physically. So what did they do? They were neglecting certain widows, neglecting people that were important. They couldn't overlook them. And so they decided to uh, look for some reputable men to be deacons. And, uh, of course, as the years go on, you know, the <laughs> vetting process is not as, as harsh as it was then. But we have these deacons, and they're there to, to feed the people so that the apostles would have time to feed them spiritually, reading the scriptures with them, teaching them all of the things they needed to do in their heart while the deacons supposedly kept them well fed. And of course, myself, it brings me back to the days when I was the donut man. You know, I used to feed the people, and that was, that was very fun. You know, it was sort of easy. You know, they, you give them sugar, and they <laughs> respond real, real well. And, um, and that, was, that was nice. I have some fond memories of that. Some of you people might not have even known that I was a, at one time a donut man. I always say I, um, I was uh, um, demoted from deacon, from deacon donut to deacon man. Yeah. But lately, and since this uh, uh, shut-in situation, since this lockdown we've had, I've been able to help feed people in a different way. We have these volunteers from St. Vincent de Paul Society and from the Knights of Columbus that have volunteered to do grocery shopping. And for the last couple of weeks, we've been getting, you know, some calls of people that are elderly or they're ill and, and they have no one close in their family that could do grocery shopping. And it's been such a beautiful pleasure to watch the church in action. These volunteers were so happy, you know, to help out. And all I did was take the grocery list and the address and pass it on to the volunteers and they did the rest. And I told them, if, you know, save the receipts in the St. Vincent de Paul Society or the Knights of Columbus will reimburse you. But most of them didn't even want to be reimbursed. They enjoyed it so much helping out. And um, it's, it's been a beautiful thing to watch the church in action. And I'm so thankful for the, the people out there that have looked into their uh, situation for their neighbors. They knew that they were elderly or something and then they would call and uh, arrange for them to have. And they were so appreciative and it was so beautiful to watch the church in action. And that's what the early apostles did. They loved one another and people saw that and it wasn't that common to see the love that they had for one another and for all people. And so their ranks continued to grow. And many people came to the Lord through their efforts. Now in the second reading, 1 Peter uh, talks about um, <clears throat> building that church. That God has laid a cornerstone in Jesus Christ and we are the living stones that that church is made of. And it's very evident when we follow the will of God and when we listen to God and we ask him we ask him to show us the gifts that he's given us and where to use them. It's amazing how we get this purpose in life, which is what our lives were meant to be. The purpose in life is what everybody lives for. We have a purpose. And um, there again, it's beautiful to watch God's church. He, know, he knows what he's doing. And when he left this earth, he, you know, he had to leave that mission. The mission be, you know, to, to uh, reach, you know, the people and to appoint certain people to do that evangelization and, and reach them. So in the gospel, this is a very famous gospel, well used at funerals. And uh, it's very reassuring to hear the Lord say, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And I want you, I'm going to come and take you with me. He didn't say, I'm, I'm going, take care, I'll see you in heaven. He never said that. He said, I will take you with me. I will take you on this wonderful trip. 
and we'll go by places where you can actually contribute of, from the gifts that you've been given and feel so blessed about it. So even though I've read that gospel many times at funerals and it, and it gives assurance to the family, but the family is left here to continue that work. It, it gives them comfort to know that Christ is preparing a place and that their loved ones that have gone forward are probably going to be praying for them and, and preparing their place as well. But the loved ones have to stay behind. But Jesus never meant for them to just languish. He never meant for them to just be by themselves. He's always said, I will be with you till the end of time. And um, I brought my, my book here because I'm going to read um, from the scriptures that we just read. But I never trust myself to memorize them. Um, Peter writes, you are a chosen race a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into this wonderful light. You know, we have been anointed to be priestly people at our baptism. When we're anointed priest, prophet, and king at our very baptism, that whole mission starts within us. And even though we have to wait years before we understand it totally and that we could actually act on it on our own, it's still God's gift of grace growing in us, calling us to the mission that, that we are meant to follow. Think about that. Think about the job that we are called to do and what a blessing it is that God would trust us with this mission. And it's called evangelization. Our church fathers today, from the Vatican through the a bishop's office, are always telling us to evangelize the people in our family, the people whose lives can actually benefit from hearing our story about what Jesus is doing in our life. They can actually have conversion experiences that will change their lives forever. And we're called to minister to our families. So let us today thank the Lord for the gifts that he's given us. Ask him to review with us the gifts that we have so that we are very aware of what we can do. And it's a lot. We can do by just sharing. It's a big thing. So let us um, today thank the Lord for the gifts that he's given us and ask him for the direction to use those gifts in a very meaningful way to build up his church and bring his message to all of mankind. Christ died once for all humanity. It's up to us to continue that message so that we can all be thankful to Jesus and our Lord. I don't need a sound, I don't need a laugh track anymore, so have a good day. I believe in one, in one God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come now with our needs before God, our Heavenly Father. I am the way and the truth and the life. God's holy word nourishes us by its teaching. Filled with Easter joy, we turn to our God for what we need in the church and in the community. For the church, may we live as a chosen people, a royal priesthood and holy nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the world leaders, that they might choose the path of peace over the ways of violence and conflict, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all deacons, whose ministry of service dates back to the earliest days of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all our mothers and grandmothers on this special day, and all who have mothered and nurtured us in very many ways, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are af affected by the coronavirus, those in medicine, first responders, and patients at home and in hospitals, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For wisdom, that the Spirit will inspire all Christian leaders as they work to reopen their churches and gather their communities for prayer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For all who are unemployed, that God will give them courage, help them to persevere as they wait, and help them find support from others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the sick, may they know the healing power of the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Libby Ringo, may they behold the face of Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, may every person within the Diocese of Orange come to personally know and love our Lord Jesus Christ. May they grow in maturity and as missionary disciple of Christ, become actively engaged in the full life and mission of the church, and joyfully use his or her gifts to share the good news and build up the kingdom of God for the salvation of souls through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who came to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, the Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange, effective in the sacrifice that makes us partakers in the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come, know your truth 
we may we may make <coughs> sorry we may make it ours by a wonderful way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it's right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, our Lord, but in our, this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together with the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time is betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be Lord. thy name, thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Christ's peace, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb. Take away the sin of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
but here's the water. The water's here. Let us pray. Grace be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from the former world, the former way, to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have some announcements. Mm -hmm. The schedules of our live stream masses and drive-up confession are still the same until further notice. Also, we will have adoration each Friday morning from 10 a.m. to 11 with a rosary hosted by various ministries starting at 11.30 a.m. each Friday of May. Just a reminder to join us for our drive-up reverence of the Blessed Mother this weekend on Sunday, May 10th from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. You may also bring flowers for Mary during this time to honor all moms, but most especially our Blessed Mother. All flowers will be moved into the church at the end of the special event. It's not too late to get your Mother's Day Novena request in. Throughout this week, the cards will remain available in the parish lobby for you to pick up, or you can email the names you want to include in the novenas this year. Any donations for the Novena can be dropped off at the parish office or made online. The Bishop's Pastoral Service Appeal is still going on. Our parish is approximately $30,000 short of our assignment. It is not too late to pledge to the PSA and we need your pledge now more than ever. And remember that any amount over the assessment amount will be returned directly to our parish. Please see our parish website for more information on pledging online. Did you know that you can receive an electronic copy of the parish bulletin directly to your email? All you need to do is sign up. Check the parish website for information. Thank you to all of those who have been able to make financial contributions to the parish during this time. If you are able, please continue making your weekly offering either through our parish website or by dropping off or mailing your donation envelope. Please stay tuned to our parish website, Facebook page, and bulletin for the most up-to-date information on upcoming parish news and events. That's it. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with you your spirit. spirit. Let us bow our heads and seek the Lord's blessing. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Let us go in joy and peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God. To you, O oh God, I lift up my soul, lift up my spirit to my Lord. I lift up my soul. Make me to know your ways, O oh God. Teach me your paths, guide me. You are my Savior. To you, O oh God, I lift up my soul. Lift up my spirit to my Lord. To you, I lift up my soul. To you I lift up my soul, to you I lift up my soul.